Hey friends, it is Jenny here at Creekside Nursery. Welcome to Gardening with Creekside and it is our weekly nursery update. Here we are in the barn with the gorgeous, the one, the only proven winners, Aquapots. Aquapots, if you do not know, are fantastic self-watering containers that are simply gorgeous. We got a huge shipment in today. We have been busy this afternoon unboxing and unpackaging all these aqua pots to get them ready to get into your hands. So it is the first full week of June here in North Carolina. It is hot. It is humid. Hence all of Jenny's June glory. So this is the real deal here at the nursery. We have got the beautiful pots that we're going to go through. We have beautiful Proven Winners Caladiums. This one is, I don't remember, Tickle Me Pink. How can I forget that name? Tickle Me Pink is just an absolutely beautiful foliage plant. Caladiums, if you do not know, we are selling them as annuals because in North Carolina, we are a zone 7B here. So they will be annuals for us. They love it hot. And what's great about these caladiums is they can do sun or shade, anything in between. We have the Tickle Me Pink available here. And if your pink is not so much your jam, if you really like a little bit of red, then we have the gorgeous Mesmerized. Mesmerized, again, sun to shade. They're going to be about the same height, 12 to 16 inches tall. Um, so we went with the pink and we went with the red really, really pretty. These do fantastic in containers. You can put them in the landscape. They also do really well in aqua pots. Yes. So we're going to run through the colors that we have and then I'm going to show you um, like how well the caladiums would look in an aqua pot. Um, this is the volcanic on milky blue. This is actually our third shipment of these pots because they sell like hotcakes. People absolutely love them. There are, in all of these colors, there are four sizes. Um, there's two different shapes and there's two sizes in each shape. So in the back here, we have the tall vase. Um, I don't remember the exact measurements, but it's a nice tall, tall vase like. Then you have the shorter vase. This is not the technical term. Proven Winners probably does not approve, or Michael Carr, who designed the pots. These are the short and squatty, the fat and squatty pots. So there is the large. This is 21 inches. I do remember that. 21 inches in diameter. And then there is the smaller one, which is like 14 or 16 inches in diameter. Um, this volcanic on milky blue is so unique because each one of these pots are handmade. So these are made in Vietnam. Vietnam has a fantastic, long, rich history of making gorgeous glazed ceramic pottery. So each one, is, as you can see, this Jerry just panned, they're each different. A quick overview of how an aqua pot works. It's really, really simple. So you have this gorgeous pot. And I'm going to sit down here. So you have this great pot. Um, what's unique, though, about the pot itself is there is no drainage hole in the bottom. Typically, you always have a drainage hole down here so that your water can drain out of your pot and your plants don't flood. There is no hole in the bottom. There is a rim around the edge. Um, so what's going to happen with that ridge is you've got this three-piece system. You have the disc. The disc is going to sit on that ridge. Then you have the soil tube, and all of this just screws into each other. Um, it doesn't, there's no glue, there's no staples, screws, whatever. So that just sits down there on that ridge. So it just nestles down in there, and then this is your fill tube. So stick that in there. You pour the soil in, you stuff it down into the hole, put the dirt in here, the soil, you plant it up as normal, take your hose, stick it in there, it fills up with water. And you're like, well, Jenny, if there's no overflow hole, you know, my plants will drown. How do I know when to stop watering? Well, I am just so glad you asked me that question because I have an answer. So right here on the back is this little teeny tiny hole. This is the overflow hole. It is right below that rim 
inside the pot. So you know to stop filling it up with water when water shoots out of here. Now, here we just got, a couple weeks ago, it rained for two weeks solid. If this was outside, then it's gonna fill up with water. Again, it's gonna, the water's gonna come out of that overflow hole so your plants do not drown. The maintenance on aquapots is really simple. In the winter, all you're gonna do is take your plants and your soil out like you normally would. You can take out the plastic components inside, rinse out your pot, clean it if you need to, sanitize it, and simply turn it over. You don't wanna leave it out um, so that it can fill up with rain and snow in the wintertime because of course, the freezing and the contraction, the cold temperature is hot, freezing, thawing of water, it will crack the pots. So you just take the pot, turn it upside down. So that's how the aqua pot works in a nutshell. So we had the volcanic milky blue, had this gorgeous smooth blue, um, and this is one of my most favorite colors of all time. In fact, this is, this is the first time we've seen them, and we're like, man, those sure would look pretty at our house. But I digress. Gorgeous color. But imagine if you took these caladiums, you could do the pink or the red, squeeze those in there. But see how those colors just come off of each other? Absolutely gorgeous. So, of course, that's the Tickle Me Pink. And then, to give you an idea of the red, like, look at that. So, if you have a really shady spot and you need some color and you have a really hard time finding plants that do well in shade, these caladiums would be perfect for that. So, smooth blue. Then, we have the very popular smooth white. Smooth white, again, is just a, just a clean line, very smooth, there's no texture to it, just a pure white. And you'll see back here in the back, after Jerry zooms in, that I've got a picture, not a picture, there is a picture back there, but there is a hibiscus. That is Proven Winners Summerific Holy Grail. Now, this is a perennial hibiscus. They are fantastic. They are hardy in zones. Let me look right quick. Uh, four, no, yes, four to nine. Sorry, Jerry was trying to tell me. Four to nine. Has that beautiful dark foliage on it with those bright red blooms. There'll be the massive blooms. Um, it will get 48 to 54 inches tall. It's fantastic. If you wanted to put a hibiscus in one of these large aqua pots, you could totally do that. You could do a hydrangea in an aqua pot. It would do magnificently well. So don't think of just flowers. Think of, you can do some shrubs in there also. So we have the smooth white and then the last one over here, which is really cool, is the techno white. And the techno white, again, is just a great classic white. The, the vase-like pots have vertical lines coming in them. And then the short squatty ones have the horizontal lines in them. So it's still a nice white. Um, it does have a little bit of more of a little bit of the gray edging on the ridges, but it's just a neat texture to a pot. They all work the same. All four of these different colors are all the different same sizes for all of them. Um, so it's just really neat. So if you are local to the Charlotte region, and you're looking for an aqua pot, let us know. We sell these on a first come, first serve basis. Um, the ones that already have the little green tags on them, those are ones that are already sold and, and being held for customers. So if, you, if there's a green tag, you can't have that one, but if there's not a green tag, they are ready for sale and you can come pick them up. We are open um, Thursdays and Fridays, nine to five, Saturdays, nine to 3.30. Follow us on Facebook for all the details. Of course, if you're watching this on YouTube um, and you're not local to us, you can go to provenwinners.com and search. You can put in a, for a local retailer and they will t you can put in your zip code and they will tell you people who are close to you that do have aqua pots. Um, and then Proven Winners is also selling them online. So you can look online for them too. Um, but anyway, I hope you're having a great week. Hope it's a little cooler than where you are. Summer has definitely arrived here in North Carolina and whew, I'm ready for a cold shower, but y'all have a great day and we will see you next time. Bye guys.